friends! Today's gonna be the TBR takedown for the month of January. We're coming up a little late in the month this time, but February was a weird month for me. Let's get to it. As I mentioned in the wrap up for December, I will be doing um, so long as I don't have a whole bunch of books, I will be doing my full wrap up and my TBR takedown in the same videos, which is not something I typically do or have done in the past, but we're going to be doing it for a while because I've not been reading as much. So why make two videos when you could just make that one? If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a very high number down to about 50. I started out the month of January with 116 books, so let's see how I did. First this month I read The Fuck It Diet by Carolyn Dooner, and I did not own a physical copy of this. I read it via the library. I did not rate this book because it is like a self-help lifestyle kind of book, so I did not rate it. I really did enjoy this. I think it can be helpful for some people, but it's definitely a book that's not for everybody. It's basically about a woman who spent a good portion of her life um, fad dieting and then decided to just eat and be happy with the way that she were. In the book she talks a lot about um, different studies um, like a starvation study that was done uh, pre post World War II, actually during World War II. I think they were learning how to help the um, prisoners of war overcome starvation um, like the best way to get them to healthy again and about how the diet companies uh, pay lobbyists and politicians um, to make basically to make rules and regulations like the food pyramid and things like that to help um, their interests over the health interests of us as Americans um, for someone who has been overweight the majority of their adult and most of their adolescent life and someone who has you know eating disorders and a struggle with food it's a very interesting book I think if you are in a place where you can handle the topic it's an interesting book to read for sure. I also reread a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland if you've been here before you know this is my favorite all-time book I love it you cannot say enough about it this was like my sixth or seventh reread it is perfection. This book fucking hits in ways that you do not expect. It just it has everything. Like it is like a YA romantic comedy. It's definitely very funny but it also has a lot of very heavy moments. It deals with um, death of a grandparent, death of a parent, child abuse, gambling, addiction, drugs, suicide, self-harm, like a bajillion things. Anyway, if you heard a lot of noise, there was kids and Nana and my point was this book is fantastic and I highly recommend. If you haven't picked it up, you should, especially if you're my friend. Listen, I'm trying to finish filming a video and you be a little quieter, be nice. And kids bang all down the porch. This is a chaotic ass video anyway. I then purchased a book which was A Curse and Ash by Julie Zantopoulos. This is the special edition from A Pug Book Box, which I subscribed to specifically so that I could get this book. Because it's blue, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, I love it. So this is the original cover and this is the special edition cover. It's blue, it's beautiful, I love them both so so much. I am super excited and if you haven't read it, I highly recommend because I've already read it so it doesn't count on my sheet either. I then read Rules for Vampires by Alex Fox and I gave that a 2.75 out of 5 stars. That you can find more information about in my previous Arc Reads video. It is a mid-grade vampire cute little story. Also in my previous Arc Reads video is The Hawthorne School by Sylvie Perry. I gave that a 2 out of 5 star. Did not like it do not recommend. There's a full spoiler review in the previous Arc Reads video. And I had a DNF this month and that was 
Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. I DNF'd at 20%. I was not having a good time and I decided to check some spoiler reviews to see if it was something that I wanted to continue reading or not and it was definitely a not from me. So with those reads and the haul and the DNF and all of the things and we still end up at 116 books. Which means we went nowhere. But it's only January and there's still time I guess. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the books that I read this month, please leave them in the comment section down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!